So what is clock star? This module is everything about clock screen. With this you will be able to change your clock face, position of your clock, your notification icons and your widgets. You will also be given a bigger selection of clock styles and wallpapers to make a very personalized clock screen. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Sherry. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about Logstar from the Good Log series. Again, you will need NiceLog to use this module because Good Log is only available in 5 countries. Download NiceLog from Play Store and install Logstar by downloading the APK. Now once you open up Logstar, you will see two options. First one is the setting for lock screen and the second one is for always on display. At the bottom, you can change your lock screen timeout. Let's start with the lock screen. Turn this on and then tap on the lock screen. Once you're inside, you can see that you can drag and drop pretty much anything anywhere. From the top, if I click on camera notch, you can see that there is a grid icon on the bottom left. If I click on it, it will go into edit mode. And now I can set the transparency and the color around the notch. So whenever you get a notification, you can see this beautiful color around the notch. And if you leave it at automatic, the color will change according to the background. Next up, we have the lock icon. Click on it and we can see two options now. One is to delete the icon and the other one is to add it. If I delete the icon, I can add it again by simply tapping on the empty screen and a menu will appear from the bottom. Tap on the lock icon and it will be added again on the screen. Now tap on the edit button and here we have two options. One to change the lock icon style and the other one is to change the color of icon. Now I can use the predefined styles or I can also add my own design from the gallery. Also I can change the color but I would prefer it to be on auto because that way it will change its color according to the background images. Next we have clock face. Uh, we have a whole separate module for clock face to create and edit clock style but in here we can only choose the styles from the predefined ones and the ones we created in clock face module. So if we click on the edit button we can see all the clock faces we have right now. We can select the clock style from here and also change the size of the clock face. The position of clock face can be changed as well, it can be placed anywhere on the lock screen. Moving on we have lock star notifications. Click on edit button and we can see here the notification types. If we choose the first one, we will only see the icon of the applications. Also in this type we can change the scale, transparency and color of the notification icons. In second type we can see the detail of the notifications as well on the lock screen. This type only gives us the option to show how many notifications we want to show on our lock screen ranges from 1 to 3. Next one is the widget from music. Like if I am using Spotify, it will show the widget on the lock screen. Now we can only add or remove this widget, we can't edit this one. Then we have the messages widget which will show various helpful messages on the screen. If we click on edit, we can change the scale, transparency and color of the message. And last widget is the apps widget. Click on edit. And here we have two types for the widget. The second one is a default simple one which will show two apps on both sides of the lock screen. But in the first one, we can see four types of alignment. If I choose one of the alignments and then tap on the widget type, I can select the six apps that I wanted to show on my lock screen. Choose any alignment and select any apps to make the experience easier. Alright, now that we have done the lock screen, let's go back and check out the always on display screen. Turn this option on and click on the screen. Now in here we won't see too much customization like we can change the position of any widget. We can't add additional widgets. We can only tap on edit and change the clock face or remove the clock widget. In clock face we can also add the battery status as well. For notifications we can only add or remove them. And at the bottom we have the charging info and again we can only choose from two options one is the charging info with the battery status and one without battery status so that's pretty much it for the lock store and as always if you think this video works for you make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one